I've been with Marcus a year and a half. I mean, it was a lot of on and off. Our real problems are cheating and not being honest with each other. We came here for a DNA test because I got this beautiful little girl. Marcus doubts that this is his daughter because I have cheated around the time I got pregnant. But I know the baby belongs to Marcus because she looks like him. She has his forehead. I also know this baby belongs to Marcus because sex with the other guy was bad. Marcus is a, is a wonderful father. He, he takes care of his kids, you know, he does what he's supposed to do. Marcus loves to hold her, sing to her, and she means a lot to him. If the baby don't belong to Marcus, I'm gonna find her father. A month ago, I have told Marcus that I cheated with two guys. Last week, I've told my producer I never cheated while I was pregnant. Later, I did confess to Marcus that I cheated when I was pregnant with two guys. I have cheated with one of those guys when I was eight months pregnant. This was like a month before I gave birth. Before coming to the show, I've confessed more to Marcus that I've cheated with more guys during our relationship. I'd rather not say how many. I wanted Marcus to take a lie detector test because I feel like he, he done more than what he told me. I've also took a lie detector test about cheating. I don't know what the point is. I've confessed everything though. I've cheated, I've done my bad, and but I want honesty and loyalty from Marcus. I want the truth to be out there because I want to know if Marcus is still cheating because I've done told him all my dirt. I have nothing more to hide. Uh, Marcus, how do you feel about Najee? Steve, honestly, I love Najee, but at, at this point, you know, I honestly don't know how to feel about her anymore because, you know, she, she's just being so deceptive and, and lying, and, and, and honestly, I, I don't know what the truth is anymore, you know? Um, do you love her? I do. I love her with all my heart, but, you know, it's, it's the, the things that she does to me makes me feel like, you know, her love for me is not genuine, you know? Or not the same. Or not the same, yes, sir. Uh, how do you feel about the, the, the baby? That is my world, Steve. The, the little girl, I, you know, I sing to her. I, I, I take her to all of her doctor's visits. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm up, her, up with her to, at night. I'm the one changing her pampers. I'm the one doing everything for this little girl, you know? Yeah. Now, uh, Najee says that she knows the baby is yours because sex with the other guy was bad. <laughs> Now, you see how you felt about that? I, that, mean, I feel like that was the most stupidest statement that anybody could ever make, you know? Like, honestly, honestly, Steve, like, anybody and everybody knows that all it takes is one time to get pregnant by well, anybody, you know? Well, and, I mean, I never heard of bad sex not being I've never person. heard of that. Of that. I got two kids. Why did you take a lie detector test? I took a lie detector test to prove to her that the, this person that she's trying to portray me out to be, that I'm not that type of way. You know, I've done bad, you know, I've done wrong. In the, in the past, relationship? We, no, not, we were on breaks, sir. We were on breaks, you know. When you, when you say that on break, like, be, because, you break up with her and then how soon afterward did you have sex? Oh, no, it, 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 I'm, I'm not breaking up with her and then two or three days later, I'm going to go find another woman. No, it takes me a significant amount of time to even how talk long, to somebody. How long have you been with Najee? I've been with her for 18 months now. Okay. So you've been with her, she gets pregnant. Were you happy that she got pregnant? I was ecstatic. I, when she first showed me the, the pregnancy test, you know, I, I, I didn't believe it. I made her take the pregnancy test over and over again, you know, just to, to, make, sure. to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, tripping about that. And how know? old is the baby girl now? The baby girl is two months old now. Two months. Um, and obviously, from your emotion, that you're very attached to the little girl. You name I her am. after your mother. What if it comes back to DNA test and, and you're not the father? If it comes back and I'm not the father, that I don't know, Steve, honestly, but I do know that I still, I, I'm going to try my best to still be there for that little yeah. girl, you know? Because <laughs> after talking with the producers on the show and, uh, and basically the producers letting us know how accurate these polygraph tests are, you know, I feel like in my heart that she knew that she was going to get on national TV and, and make a fool of herself, you know, and she didn't want to do that. So she wanted to try to convince me that, oh, I'm not going to lie to you anymore. And, and, and basically she just 
try to tell me that, oh, I've, I've done this, this, and this, and it was actually a whole lot of stuff, man. Yeah. yeah. How about the fact that she confessed about cheating while being pregnant? That, that crushed my soul, because, like, how do you not have respect for yourself and for your baby enough to, to not cheat? You know, we, we, this is supposed to be our daughter. This is supposed to be, you know, uh, our family, you know? And, and you, I feel like you don't respect me enough or something, because what made you go and, and degrade yourself like that, you know? Now, she's taken a lie detector test still. I mean, I don't know why. Um, she confessed to cheating with six guys. <laughs> Six different guys, six different people. Oh. And I honestly and feel like And you want to know if there's more? I honestly feel like there's more, yes. Do you think the relationship is worth saving? At this point, I don't know. Yeah. At this point, I honestly don't know. I do want to try to save the relationship and, and rekindle this for our family. You know, this is, this is, we have a child. I grew up with my mother and my father. And I feel like all of my, my kids are, need to be ha done the same way. They need to be grow up with both parents yeah, in but, the house. Yeah, uh, but, and, uh, you know, I don't know your mom, but I'm guessing she didn't cheat with six different guys. No, she did or not. Or <laughs> sleep with guys when she was eight months pregnant. No, she didn't. <laughs> um, how many did you think there was before you came to the show? I, honestly, before I came to the show, I... She was making it seem like she never cheated on me at oh, all. Oh, okay. You know, and she was making it seem like I'm, I'm, I'm the one delusional. I'm the one that's in my head. You know. What if she were fail to cheating more than six guys? Honestly, at this point, Steve, I'm, I'm really just wanting to try to focus on the little girl. The relationship I know is is starting to die off. You know. And I, I'm, I'm trying not to get it to die off, you know. I'm trying to save it. I, but I don't want to be the only person that's trying to, to save a relationship. This is a two-way street. Love works both ways. You have to meet me in the middle. Yeah. Marcus, you're ridiculous. I don't know why you're out here bashing me like that. I'm not bashing you. You bashed yourself. I didn't bash myself. You, you act like yourself. you never cheated on me through my whole pregnancy. Anytime that you, you, you try to justify that with, you try to always justify your stuff with, oh, you cheated on me, you cheated on me, but you know like I know that that's, that didn't happen. That wasn't the case. You have you, cheated on me while Okay, I was well, if, if, if so, even then, all we need to think about right now is what's going on with this little girl, you know? <laughs> as, far, as far as the cheating, as far as the cheating, you know, it, it, it is what it is. You know, I, you stabbed me in my heart, I stabbed you in yours, right? So, hey, if, if this is what we're going to do, you know, we, maybe we need to just learn how to co-parent instead of trying to, you know, do this stuff. Because what we're doing right now is not it. It's toxic, and I don't like it. I, what, why did you cheat, and why did you cheat with so many different guys? I've cheated because he cheated on me. Yeah. And I'm but, gonna do but, him 10 times worse than he had done me. He cheated on me through my whole pregnancy. Did you really say that the sex with the other guy was so bad there's no way he could be the father? Yes, I did. I mean, I mean, you, I mean you're a smart girl, right? <laughs> you know that bad sex doesn't equate, you know, like equate to being, you know, not being able to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to stay with Marcus? I do. You do? Mm. Do you think you could just sleep with Marcus? I can if he can do two days. If he can too? Yeah. yeah. I honestly stopped cheating a long time ago. He I stopped it. cheating at least eight, six, seven months ago. Lie. I did not cheat on her since then. It's a lie. It's, good. it's a good start. It's a lie. I, I honestly <laughs> haven't cheated on you. When's the last time you cheated? I stopped cheating after I had my baby. After what? After I had my child. And how? And so you stopped cheating two months ago. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what? What if Marcus is not the father of your child? Would you want to stay in the relationship? If he's willing to stay in the relationship. If he's willing, yeah. Mm. Okay. Lie well, detector test for Marcus. Marcus, you came here and took a lie detector test, and we asked you. Marcus <clears throat> makes a confession at the very beginning. He admits to sexual contact or intercourse with three women while in a relationship with Najee. And then we go on to ask him, since being in a relationship with Najee, other than the woman you confessed, have you had sexual intercourse with any other woman? He answered no. 
since being in a relationship with Narje, other than the woman you confessed, have you had sexual contact with any other woman? He answered no. And the results of those two questions came back the same. And it came back that Marcus told the truth. Okay, Najee, you took a lie to tuck the test. <clears throat> uh, Najee admits to sexual contact with six men and intercourse with five men since being in a relationship with Marcus. Uh, we asked her, since being in a relationship with Marcus, other than those five men, have you had sexual intercourse with any other man other than Marcus? She answered no. Since being in a relationship with Marcus, other than those six men, have you had sexual contact with any other men besides Marcus? Yeah. She answered no, and the result for those two questions uh, came back the same, and it came back that Najee told the truth. <laughs> then Najee amidst the sexual contact with one man since the birth of her daughter. Uh, since giving birth to your daughter, have you had sexual intercourse with any man other than Marcus? She answered no. Other than what you confessed to since giving birth to your daughter, have you had sexual contact with any man other than Marcus? She answered no. And the results came back the same to those two questions. And it came back that Najee told the truth. Who? Oh. Who? Oh. Can you say it again, Steve? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So you're really just admitting that you told the truth about all the cheating. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You two are both young and attractive people. Wouldn't you just be having sex with each other all the time? We do. <laughs> yeah, and so that's, I'm finding it hard. How do you find time to have sex with anybody else? <laughs> but you do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Marcus, you took a DNA test. And the result of that DNA test, Marcus, is that you are the father of Najee. <laughs> Kiss it. Kiss it. Come on. Kiss it. Kiss it. Yeah. I told you. You feel like I helped you? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Like, come yeah. on. Kiss it. Kiss it. <laughs> Okay, How, you must, first of all, I was a little worried you were having a seizure, but um, <laughs> how, how, how do you feel? I feel great now, oh yeah. my God, this is all I really wanted. I wasn't, I wasn't worried about the lie detector test. At the end of the day, I just really wanted to know, was that little girl yeah. mine? You know, I want to be there every okay. day of, my, of her life, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that I'll never, I'll never leave her, And you're going to kiss my ass for the rest of her life, too. I will. Um, well, I would just say this: to be to be in a relationship that's going to work, there's a lot of giving on both parts, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you kind of kind of be selfless, and you try to make your partner happier than you make your own self. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, I want to make you happy. I want to make you happy. But it's got to be a two-way street, because if it's one way, then that's never going to work. But uh, you, you listen, you're both young, you got a beautiful girl. I, I, I wish I was your age. When I had my first child, I would have had a lot more. You got this beautiful chance here at a, a wonderful family. And I hope you both make wise choices moving forward. Yes, sir. All right, good luck to you. I called you, Steve, for help because I watch your show all the time. Somebody's going to watch this and say, you know what? She was brave enough to do that. I can do that too.